bring everything but the hog out. Think we eat nothing but grass, what you talking about? I'm about to jump into the whip and hit the whole foods early. Get everything to get that soul food working. Like mac and cheese, the collard greens, the black eyed peas, and get a roast of that tofu turkey. Got cornbread, even got stuff. Mashed potatoes so good, put your hand in it. Stream beans, and you know we got yams with it. Got cabbage and greens with no ham in it. You can fill your plate up without all the. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a video I hoped I didn't have to ever make but it's one that I suspected I would have to make because I've been saying this for years that a lot of kids are at real extreme danger online, on you now especially but everywhere and I think this is something that parents and everybody else is as us as content creators, we've got to put this out there because a lot of children are being exploited. Especially on you now, like I say. On you now, I'm not going to mention any names that are put up pictures because that's just absolutely wrong. But, <sighs> Vegan Cheetah Charles Marlow, if you want to go and see his videos, he talks all about this. And it's really, really great that he actually put that out there because it's something that we know has been going on for so long, but it's went on the, under the radar basically. Charles has actually put out a good few videos exposing this and good on him, like I say, I know a lot of people have hang ups about Charles and such likes. He's got his good points, he's got his quite a few bad points and we've had our run-ins in the past, but that's all behind us, like I say. Whatever he's, a lot of people may say that his motivation is because he's been banned for you now and things like that. Personally, I don't think so because what he's actually done, he's really put out some great content and exposed something that's really dangerous and something that a lot of parents and anybody online has really got to look out for because there's there's been a few videos recently that he's posted basically talking about what's been going on in you now. People 30, 40, 50 years old dropping bars and gold little red crowns onto young kids 14 and 15 years old. And these little red crowns that you buy, these are like $500. And most of these kids don't even have you now partnerships. So they're dropping money on them basically to get them to do things like take off their t-shirts and basically showing pictures of their body and that these are these guys are snapping these pictures and to me that that is very very strange because would you and i mean you anybody me or anybody else beyond little kids channels snapping them pictures of them getting changed and snapping pictures of their bare bodies and such likes i'm not going to accuse people of paedophilia and such likes but that is, that's, that's really, really strange and it's bordering on grooming, in my opinion, and I don't know what you guys think, but it's really, really strange. And even some of these guys have actually got these young boys' phone numbers and such likes, which to me is extremely strange. Why would you want a 14-year-old boy's phone number? And the little boy that was actually talking, he come on camera defending this guy, and the guy was actually guesting with him. And the weird strange thing about it was the little boy was actually doing all the talking for this older guy, saying, oh, why he's his friend and why he's not the person that people think he is. And this guy's just let, standing there letting him take over. And to me, that's very, very odd because if you were 100% honest, you'd be backing yourself up yourself, but let, letting the little boy actually do the talking for him. And to me, as it went along, the little boy actually added more fuel to the fire and was actually burying him even more because you seen what he was saying about him, phoning him at night, telling him he was, he was going to bed and he's got his phone number and such like. And wow, <laughs> you know, you've really got to watch what you put out online, guys, because... <laughs> You've got to watch when you give your real name and such likes. And I've got a dear, dear friend, Silent Solemnity, and I love the way she does it because she doesn't tell anybody her name. And to me, I think that's something I should have even done in the past because a lot of people got my name because I put it out there. They, then I accidentally told them where I stayed and I got quite a few hate comments and trolling and things that shouldn't have went the way they should have and hate towards my wife. So you've got to watch only for yourself, but most importantly for these underage kids, because 
internet grooming and such likes is a real real reality it happens so so much these people gain people these kids confidence and basically make them think they're their friends and they're dropping bars and such likes on them on you now to basically gain their confidence letting them think they've become stars and making them think they're their friends these kids get excited they start doing things for them even one of the videos that Charles actually posted was this coloured guy actually talking to this young younger girl I think this guy was maybe a bit in his late 20s and this girl looked a bit well, probably under 16, and he's actually asking her if she was a virgin and such likes, and told her that he, he, she was absolutely hot, and could she Skype him afterwards, and he actually had obviously been speaking to her before, and she said yes, she was going to go and Skype him, and he was saying that how that she was absolutely lovely, and he, oh, he thought this, sort and the next that thing over, and you know what I mean, it's it's absolutely disgusting, these guys are, in my opinion, bordering on grooming these children. Like I say, you've got to watch out what you put out there because if they've got these kids' phone numbers, have they got their address? You know what I mean, it's not beyond the, possible, the realms of possibility that they actually have. So they could be turning up at their doors or anything. I would like to say this to you guys out there, if you've got kids or even if you are underage yourself, please keep yourself safe don't give out any information to anybody like i say trust everybody with a pinch of salt unless you really really know them and you're that you know that they're absolutely bona fide 100 percent your friend and especially if they're overage like i say a lot of people can use fake profiles in these days you just do not know unless you know the person just watch what you put out there like I say, I've actually got my, my friend's daughter that's, that stays with us at the weekends. She's actually under 13. And we actually, me and my wife actually had to phone them and actually tell them about this that was going on because you just worry so, so much, guys, because that could be happening to your kids, your, your friend's kids or anything. It's, it's absolutely sickening. And I feel in some ways that you now is just just letting it happen because it's all about the money and, I, and I'm not going to, I may get trouble for actually saying this but I'm saying this because I care about everybody and I really really worry what's actually going on out there guys because internet is a scary scary place, you think of all the things that go on with the bullying and such like, I get bullied as a kid when I was at school but now bullying is 24-7 because it just doesn't happen when you're at the school playground. It happens when you go home on social media and such likes as well. And social media has been a big, big gateway for these kind of people that basically want to do this grooming and such likes or have fantasies about kids and such likes. And it's, it's absolutely disgusting. And these social media networks need to stamp out and actually do something about it. They need to put restrictions on it and make sure that you've got to actually give out identification that you're over 18. Because if I think if they don't do that, there's so, so many things that's going to go on and it's just a gateway for these people to do these things. Like I say, I'm not going to mention names, put up pictures or anything because that's just making it worse in my opinion. And that's one thing I think Charles actually went a bit wrong with as well, putting up the kids' pictures and things. But I understand how he had to do what he did because he put it out there to basically help the children and put that out there that this is actually going on. Like I say, keep yourself safe guys and it's absolutely terrible. If you have got anything that you would like to talk about about this and or what you think about it, please let me know in the comments. I just I just don't know what to think about it. It's absolutely disgusting and I think it's something that's really going to happen to be stamped out. Let's see whether the FBI and services and things like that are going to have to step in and do something about it. It's Something's going to have to be done big and I think this is going to be in some ways help the, the social media platforms as well because it's going to push it forward and actually make it more safe for everybody. Like I say as always guys, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings and be kind to every kind. The only difference is your perception. Speak to you all in the next video. Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings.
speak to you all soon and love you so much.